Hey everybody, my name is Dave McKeever and I am sitting down today with Catherine Vatsula. She's with Lone Depot and every quarter or so I like to sit down and get a mortgage home market or not home market, but market update Absolutely. on what's going on in our mortgage industry and I'm going to pass all that great information on to them today. So, um, Catherine, we've, there's been a lot of talk in the industry, in the newspapers. Um, I hear it from multiple places about the rates have dropped recently, I guess, in the last four to six weeks. Yes. Um, how much have they dropped? Is it considerable? Is it, what Good do you... Good question. Yes, there's a lot of activity in the market with interest rates, and you're correct. They have dropped considerably. I and I can tell you that last week I, I did uh, lock some clients at 3.5% on a 30-year loan, wow. which was pretty good. Really uh, good. Some clients on FHA were seeing them at 3%. Jeez. So that's pretty fantastic. The Is that federal, the 30-year rate? Yes. Wow. Yes. Gee, that's and really that's low. with down payment assistance. Wow. Okay. So those are very favorable. Now the rates have been fluctuating this past week. Okay. And uh, But we the Federal Reserve says or is anticipated to reduce the interest rates again in mm. September. So we think they're going to stay really low. Great time to buy. So they're kind of projecting to stay low the remaining of 19, 2019, maybe? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's a good thing. So that's always great news. That's, that's awesome news. Um, <laughs> the next question I, that recently I saw a headline um, it's important for our first-time home buyers is regarding condos. A lot of first-time home buyers will they can't afford a home, so they look at the condo market. Mm -hmm. And there's always been stipulations about lending and condos, which has always been difficult sometimes. Uh, but I guess FHA recently announced some easing of guidelines on that. They did, and we're very happy about it. So. Condominium projects have to be approved by FHA, and that can be mm -hmm. a lengthy and a costly pro uh, um, project in itself. Mm -hmm. And so what FHA decided was that they're going to ease the qualifying for the condo project approvals, okay. but also make it easier for financing, especially for first-time home buyers. So that's going to be effective October 15th. We don't know the specifics on what, okay. how that's going to happen just yet. But it is supposed to add twenty to 60,000 units of condos wow. annually That's to great. the market. That's a so lot. presently, there's 150 condo projects across the United States mm. where only 6.5% of them are approved. So we're expecting great things oh, from FHA. So when that, on an FHA, is that just FHA loans? Yes. Okay, for first-time home buyers. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the, is that getting the actual entire condominium uh, development approved? It's, it's not, both. Okay. It's both. It's about getting the project approved, but it's also being able to do individual FHA loans on a project that's not presently approved. Okay. So once a, a condominium project's approved, and the next FHA buyer comes in, will it make that process a lot easier because oh, it's yeah. already approved? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah, those that we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, because it's always been, when I've always had a first time home buyer, just thinking about looking at condos first, it's like you, it's, <laughs> it's difficult because there's not many approved associations uh, in Stockton. Correct. In a lower price point. Correct. Okay. Yeah, well, so that's we're, good we're news. Very so happy about that. We'll have to get an update on that as uh, maybe the first part of the year on the FHA guidelines on that. So. Um, anything else you want to add as far as the mortgage industry? What's going on with any changes in veteran loans? And that uh, that's sort of a good thing? question. So, yeah, so with VA loans, the fallacy is that you have to be a veteran or married to a veteran mm -hmm. or be a surviving spouse of a veteran in order to get um, the, v the VA loan, which is a great loan program. But you, in fact, can have a veteran and a non veteran, such as a veteran and a mother, a veteran and a daughter on the loan, the, the requirement is that they do have to have 12.5% down payment. Okay. Now, uh, a lo uh, the loan that I have in process right now, they have a significant down payment, so that wasn't the issue. But for those who only put 12.5% down in comparison to another loan program, you don't have the private mortgage insurance. Mm. There's no PMI on that? There's no PMI wow. on the VA loan, so that's pretty fantastic. And a lot of people don't know that you can do that. 
So if I have, a, if we have, our, if there's parents who are trying to help their veteran son buy yes. a house, can the entire twelve and a half percent come from the parents? If no. They're, if they're on the loan, it has to come from the. Yeah, there's, the veteran. there's, there's. Uh, I think there's a portion that has to come from each person. Okay. So it's not. It doesn't happen very often. We haven't seen it, but um, it's it's a great opportunity for people to know yeah. that a veteran it's can help. A, more of a case by case. Yes, it basis, is. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, we're still doing a lot of down payment assistance programs mm -hmm. tied to that FHA loan that we're talking about. Uh, it's you know a lot of people don't have money. The Federal Reserve came out with a report that said. 40% of Americans don't have $400 as Jeez. a reserve in case of, in case something happened. What's and that's that a pretty, again? 40%, that's, that's scary. a scary number. And so you know that our buyers don't have that money and the down payment assistance programs are very helpful. It does require a minimum credit score of 640, but it can cover the down payment and most of your closing costs. I think more and more people are getting credit conscious now. Like. If they have an inkling of they want to buy a house in a year, I think more and more people are, it's getting more streamlined than it was like yes. 10, 12 years ago. People didn't understand what credit was. And I think luckily now it's out in the media so much. They, I think they're, that's helping. Yes. Um, so they're 640 under... credit score is relatively attainable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Great stuff out there in lending. Yeah, I think, uh, do you have anything else to add with the mortgage market? I think rates are looking good for the rest of 2019, it sounds like. Um, I sent out a video to my clients urging them to look at their loans to perhaps refinance um, since it's dropped down below four yes. again. You know, if anybody purchased the last two, three, four years, you, <laughs> your rate might be 4.75, you know, closer to five. It might That's be an opportunity to... Correct to at least look at that. So if somebody called, you can just do a one over and run some payments for Oh, them. yes, 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 very okay. easily. Lots of go. that in the market right now. Well, we'll put her number down on the screen here, and, <laughs> uh, or you can call me, we can connect you, just to do a quick look over of your mortgage if you're interested in that. Or if you're looking to get pre-approved to buy a house, obviously rates are low and it's a great time. It is. There's so many programs out for everybody, so uh, don't hesitate to start the plan to buy a home all right well thanks for coming absolutely. in absolutely <laughs> we'll do it again next uh, couple months okay all right looks good thanks for watching everybody Talk to you soon. <laughs> thank you